After nearly a year of learning from home, several school districts are returning to in-person learning. The Jefferson County and Adams 12 five-star schools will bring all middle and high school students back four days a week. Jeffco will start phasing the kids back in March 15th with everyone in the classroom by April 5th. Adams 12 says seniors will come back March 8th and everyone else on the 29th. The Douglas County School District hopes to bring all middle and high school students back Monday, March 22nd, but that has to be approved by the school board. The Denver Public Schools are talking about more in-person learning, but have no specific plans yet. Most Colorado elementary students have already returned to the classroom, but this is certainly welcome news for many of the families with older kids. Jeff Todd with more on the latest announcements. Jeff, with the vaccine available, many teachers also ready to return. Jim, since about the middle of January, many kids have been in a hybrid model, meaning that they are coming to campus for two days out of the week, but then they're at home and remote the other three days. Teachers say this kind of system is taxing to create multiple lesson plans. And we've also seen that it's not ideal for students. Some are getting left behind. So district officials say that that data shows it is time to return. I can finally see some light at the end of the pandemic COVID tunnel, and I feel like this is one of those big steps forward in terms of getting out of the tunnel. Adams 12 Superintendent Chris Godowski says the move to bring students back into school more regularly is coming because many teachers are getting vaccinated. We'll have a lot of masks that are available for students, and then we're going to add in some air purifiers in our rooms that provide an additional layer of protection. So you add all that up, and we feel like it really puts us in a good spot to have productive and safe school operations. Certainly my life is going to become much easier, much less complicated without, you know, having to juggle kids at home and, and kids in the classroom and come up with two different lesson plans. We first talked with Dale Munholland around Christmas when he wasn't ready to have kids back in the classroom at Pomona High School in Jeffco. Now the levels are really beginning to come down. We're going into the blue. People are getting vaccinated, so it, it's a different feeling. Students will return after spring break, which brings some concerns. But there's hope that more regular education will bring additional benefits to the kids. There are some positives here. It's going to be good to see the kids back in the classroom and feel somewhat normal. For some kids, they have been fully remote and they will finish the school year that way. We have also heard from some teachers who do, do not approve of this plan. There is a protest planned for Wednesday where some teachers will be using a personal day to protest the districts making this decision. We're live in Arvada tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.